Alright, Shalom. I'd like to give full praises and on glory to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Racha Kodash, like the double honors the apostles and others of great millstone and rule well, and peace and salutation to the Akim around the world that push you in sincerity. Alright, so I'm going to go through a few scriptures here. I'll start with Ephesians 6 verse 10, alright? Okay, now usually. Usually men like to rely on their own strength to really get through. You even see like you even see like when you see um when you hear the people that they will talk, you'll always say that they will do this and they will do that. You understand? They will do this tomorrow. And you know, the called the system does teach you that you have the power within yourself. I even heard one of those um those false prophets and I'm teaching now once. They say they are the ability of what you are capable of doing is within yourself when really and truly is the most side is given that ability you understand i'll start with that as well john 327 yeah there's john 327 they say john answered and said a man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven but this system does teach you that you have you have the ability to do anything within yourself when really and truly the most side is give the increase and you could also take it away if you see fit right i go back to ephesians 6 verse 10 and say finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might because really and truly the most high is your strength when men like to rely on their own strength to do certain things you have to remember that you don't have any power you understand israel by themselves have no power we draw our power from the mosai through our shaya mashayak and that is something to always keep in mind that is, that is one of the reasons why whenever you're going through something you pray you call upon your power to help you if that was the case you would have no need to pray you understand you have the power to do it yourself ready and true you're supposed to lean on the mosai that he could do these things for you because he is the power of Israel. I that is what the very name is Prince of Power. He didn't call us power by ourselves. We are the princes of the power. Right? So there's um a second Corinthians twelve. I'll start from seven, right? Yeah, well, I'll start from I'll start from six, all right? Second Corinthians twelve from six. So look, yeah, this recorder is cut off, so I'll, so I'll check to see if it's still recording. Second Corinthians twelve verse six you say for for though for though I would desire to glory I should not be a fool for I will say the truth but now I forbear lest any man should think of me above that which he seeth me to be or that he hear it me he hear he hear it of me because you know he, he didn't want to be boastful or proud or try to make himself appear like more than he is second like scriptures say if a man thinking himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth his own self. Right? So verse 7 is say, Unless I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of my revelations. Okay, you know, whenever a man start to gain knowledge, sometimes it will start to get him and he will start to become proud and start to think of himself in a high way. Or start to look at himself as higher or better than others. That has actually happened to you. Even though a man might try to deny it, those spirits does actually mess with your mind from time to time. You said there was so like, yeah. You said there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, right? To the Mosai. You know, since Satan to jack him up a little bit. Just like all Job just like all Job gate with the um, with the boils. He had something something he did get, you know. Something he did get in his flesh also. 
to the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. So that happened. That happened to him, to, you know, to keep him humble. Which is just like how you see a lot of brothers going through things these days. A lot of, a lot of times that is good that you just go through those things to humble you because you know sometimes certain things that you have or certain things that you're doing might start to get to your head. And the most I might, you know, because he don't where to go off. My eye just some hard lash, you know, I flick it a little bit to keep you, to keep you on the wraps, you know. Something it could just be something that you had to learn. Either way, it is be for good reasons. Right? Right, so the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. They say, for this thing I besought the Lord thrice, right? That I'm that it may depart from me. So when it happens to him, just like all brothers, you know, when they're going through affliction or something real bad happens, say you'll pray, you say get rid of this please. <laughs> not working did not work it out for me I would like it to leave please get rid of it you'll pray and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee <laughs> from for my strength is made perfect in weakness because ready and truly when 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 you when you're when you're in that when you're in that you know in our high states and you know your mind started to get proud as the scriptures say, the Mosai resist the proud, but give grace unto the humble. That is often why he's had to do things to humble you, so that he'll be able to work with you. Because if you don't become humble, you'll start to get proud, and you might start to even act like if you the one giving the revelations, you know. You never know how, how pride could affect you. That is, the kind of, that is the kind of forces that these spirits just have when they interfere with your mind. You might start to get proud, you might start to... You might stay, you might, you might smite the rock, you know, like, 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 what, like what Moses do. Instead of, instead of talking to the rock, you might want to smite the rock. You never know what could happen to you. So the Mosa is often, you know, gives certain afflictions and so forth. Sometimes just to humble you. So that he'll be able to continue working with you. Because scripture, the scriptures say, he resists the proud, but give it grace unto the humble. Right, see, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. They say most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities than the power of Mashiach, that the power of Mashiach may rest upon me. You understand? Because through infirmities they go, he will be afflicted, yes, but it will also humble him. And that will also allow the most high to be able to work with him. So half the time, when it, when it is you're going through these afflictions, it is be to just, you know, to keep you humble. Sometimes there's be trials that you have to go through, to, you know, to prove you and to try you and to even strengthen you. But sometimes it is just be to, you know, to humble you a little bit. Because sometimes when you have certain things, it is, you know, you just tend to get high-minded and your mind just start to go astray. You know, so there's, there's always things that you just have to remember even at times when you're being afflicted that you know the most side of us go wrong beating you out a rod for no reason you know it has be for it has be for a reason either it be because you had to learn something or you know you might be have a little problem with humility that that had to be sorted out you know but all of these things you just had to keep in mind because it doesn't be easy to remember these things when you're being afflicted trust me I know <laughs> it doesn't be simple to remember these things but yes he has always had to keep that why he's always had to keep always reading and building your spirit and reminding yourself of these things you know always keep reading the scriptures and trying to re rehearse constantly so that you'll understand every scriptures say um Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. You know, all of these things is to help to keep you stable. No matter whatever affliction might come, whether it be these small afflictions you might get now, or the big afflictions that you might get coming closer to the end. Through wisdom and knowledge, you'll understand that these why these things happen and why they must be. You understand? Right, I don't make this video too long. I hope it was edifying. 
to any brother or one or two aquats in the world that will listen to it, you know. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Ba'asham Racha Kodash. I'd like to double on the apostles and elders of Great Millstone of Rule Well. And peace and salutation to the Akimoni world that push the truth in sincerity. This is Yarabba from Eternal Camp saying Shalom.